Very much, Master of Ceremonies. Um, first of all, let me just say thank you to the uh, Vice President of the Football Association of Zambia, Mr. Mumba, for being with us in this uh, ceremony. And uh, special thanks should also go to our icon, uh, usually call him Zambia One, in our referring sector. Uh, the man himself was uh, us here. So like the Master of Ceremonies said, uh, we, it's going to be a very brief uh, you know, uh, discussion. And um, this meeting has been called um, for our man, uh, Jan Sikazwe, to just tell us what, uh, what he has. I know when he came from the World Cup, there were a lot of speculations. Uh, the other day, I was just laughing when somebody called me and says, oh, he was chased away from the World Cup. And uh, that's uh, why he wants to retire. So we we'll hear it from the horse's mouth. And uh, it's always important that uh, we interact and get the message from the man himself. So I'd like to appreciate also the media for coming through. And um, without wasting much time, uh, this is not a show for speeches. It's a, uh, it's a show that we want to listen to what Jani has for us. So that said, I would like to um, take the for, uh, the mic back to the master of ceremonies to just take us through to the next person who's going to speak. Mine was just to welcome all of you uh, to this meeting. Let me ask you, the man who's going to speak on behalf of the association. Okay, thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, yeah. uh, the referees, uh, manager, secretary, staff, members of the press present, all protocol observed. As we come to the close of 2022 soccer season, we are taking stock of what the year has been. 2022 has provided many milestones in our game. Part of the moments of pride for 2022 is why we are gathered here. We are here to celebrate one of the heroes of our game in the recent past. Mr. Janis Kaze has been the face of Zambian football at various international events, even where our football teams have not participated. Skazo has broken many records in his referee's career with his FIFA World Cup participation in 2018. He did not end there, and he broke his own record this year, being part of the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. We are also incredibly happy that despite being so accomplished, he has remained a humble and happy person, which has made him a role model in our country. He remains a role model to many upcoming referees and sportsmen. Skaze has really been one of the greatest attributes of the great men and women, which is to leave the stage while the audience is still clapping. I think at this moment, I know you are journalists and pressmen, we can give Mr. Jan a round of applause. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as far as we will utilize the experience that Jani Skazo has amassed over the years, we will liaise with him on the exploits, the possibility of utilizing his experience. As he blows his final whistle in his career, we just wish to congratulate him on a career well served. Mr. Janis Kazo, congratulations. And as an association, we will always uh, be there for you. And as you take the next step in life, remember that uh, our doors will always remain open and we will rely on you to continue to develop the career of our referees. May the good Lord, our God, bless you. Thank you. It is uh, at this point that I would like to uh, now ask Mr. Sikazwe, uh, facing you, the media, to tell you why 
he has brought us here or why this briefing? Like I said earlier, there are a lot of speculations and let's hear it now from the horse's mouth. That said, I would like to give this floor to Mr. Jani Sikazwe to just uh, address us. Jani. Thank you, Madam Manager. Um, first and foremost, uh, let me th uh, thank uh, the office of the, 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 the past president and uh, thank you all of you guys uh, who have come here uh, to hear from the horse's mouth. Now, I wanted to even to tell my manager to say, in the first place, I'm not a horse. <laughs> 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 yes. On a lighter mode. Yes. Well, um, I know a lot of people have been like uh, talking on social media, and uh, they have been uh, like giving reasons why Johnny has decided to, to retire. Well, um, I didn't just decide to retire some two days ago. It was even before I went for the World Cup. But you people, you didn't know about that. OK? Um, first of all, I, I, I even received a call from our new director of uh, refereeing at CAF asking me to say, hey, what are you thinking about? Then I told him to say, after our World Cup, this is what I'm thinking about. I think uh, I'll hang up my boots and see what I can do with other things. Okay? Then he told me to say, okay, fine. If that is your decision, you write us a letter. So I wrote him a letter. Uh, I wrote CAF a letter, CC uh, FAS, and they received that. That was before the World Cup. So people have been like, giving reasons why Jan has decided to, to retire. You know, I was reading, I think last night I was like reading some comments. Some people were saying, ah, I think he has got a lot of pressure. I don't know which pressure they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the things I was like, okay, people can talk whatever they, they want to talk. But let me tell you, I decided to do that even before the World Cup. So I went to the World Cup, I went to Qatar. What else have already written the letter? Even the time I, 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 I did all my, my duties uh, at the World Cup, I, I met our big bosses at, at, at FIFA, the, the referees manager there, the Busaka, the, the director of refereeing, uh, Corina. I told them to say, this is my view. And this is uh, what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. And after this, I'm hanging up on the boats. So they knew that even before you people had to like start you know, giving your own reasons. But it's, it's normal. I wouldn't say you were wrong to give all those reasons. But I'm saying it's normal. So I decided that before I went for um, uh, the World Cup. The reason is uh, very simple. Because when I ask the age of you people here, like my brother who is here, how old are you, my brother? Uh, so, approaching 30. He's approaching 30. You see? But when you look at him, you may say maybe they are of the same age. OK? Long time ago, when you were at FIFA panel, the retirement age was 45. And I'm just remaining with one year to, to get to that. So what's the problem? So why can't I give a chance to the young ones? We have just ended the, the World Cup. And do you know what they say? The final whistle of the World Cup start, starts the new project of the new referees who are supposed to go for the World Cup. Four years. That's what they say. So whoever was watching the World Cup, that final whistle was the beginning of the new project for the FIFA World Cup candidates. So why should I go on when I have the young ones who should come? Long time ago, here in Zambia, big people here who bear with me witness, we had six slots for FIFA referees. 
Now it has been reduced to four. If this time around, Jan was, a, was one of them on the FIFA panel, meaning that we were only going to have only three guys who may be saying, okay, fine, we may target on another project. But Jan, I would have taken a place for somebody. So I decided to say, why can't I leave a space for another person? Because I've got only a year, I mean. I've done two World Cups. I've done World Cup under 20. I have done World Cup under 17. I've done five AFCONs. I've done a lot of championships. I've done FIFA Club World Cup. All those. When I ask the nation to say, what else do I need? If I ask you journalists here to say, what else do I need? Who can answer me? Yes. What else? Imparting your knowledge to the young ones. Thank you, my brother. If it is the impacting of knowledge to the young ones, then I don't need to be on the panel this year. I should get back to the other side. Then I impact the knowledge. Because once I am within the... Once I'm within the, 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 the group of FIFA referees, then I've got no opportunity to impact that knowledge. We are going to have other instructors who will be saying, hey, why, why is Jan doing, what, what is Jan doing here? This is the group of instructors. He's still active. So how am I going to impact knowledge to the young ones? So it means that I have to leave one thing and go to the other part of the world. Then I'm able to say, okay, fine. I think this is now the time for me to impact knowledge to the young ones. The time I started uh, refereeing, this is my 23rd year. Can you imagine? So if a, somebody was born on that year, it must be 23 years, like Mbappe. <laughs> you get it, huh? <laughs> That's my refereeing career. Mbappe is 23 years now. 24. 24, okay, fine. Close. Okay? So I qualified as a, a, a referee 1999. So I'm talking about 23 years now. Now, I'll tell you to say, 16 years, putting on that white badge is not a joke. Unbreakable. Not to cross up power, abuela. Okay, abuela footy. No, 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 no. Sixteen years consistent. That badge was here. Now, putting on that badge for sixteen years. I don't need four years to come again. You want me to go to twenty years putting on that badge? The people of Zambia, I know. Other people were saying, oh, Jan is young. You, you, you get it, eh? Jan is young to, 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 to retire. Yeah. Our last born in our family is in the 40s, and she's there. <laughs> she's there. She's working for ZNBC. She's there. If I thought she was a referee, I would have said you have to retire as well because you are in the 40s. So I'm getting old. In life, what is important is when you start something, you need to state some goals. What do you want to achieve in whatever you want to do? So I started referring, and I had some targets. I need to do this. I need to do this. The first target was to break a record in refereeing of Zambia. Somebody in 1975, when I was in there, that was the record that the referees in Zambia they were having. 1975. I think some of you, I don't know where you were, because I wasn't there as well. Maybe my boss here, yes, he was there. Yes, <laughs> for sure. For sure he was there. But it took Jan to come and break that record from that. Then I decided to break my own record again. Two World Cups is not a joke. 
But I'm proud that the list of Zambian panel today, we've got the new guys who have come, some 29 years, managers, yeah, 20, somewhere there. Mm -hmm. Those guys have got future. Because what it is is that when somebody goes into the pa uh, on the panel, you are not going to have uh, one year you are going to have shed, uh, at, at AFCON. That would be a lie. You need about three, four years' experience. CAF gives you this. They look at you. Is he able to do this? Okay, let's do this. And of late, you've seen to say, Jan has been there. Oh, what is the next assignment? Is it uh, in the northern part of, the, uh, of Africa? Because that's where they test the referees, if you didn't know. <clears throat> there, it is tough. It's different from the southern part. Here, I can go up. Zimbabwe, I will shed. Somebody comes. It's quite easy. Go up there. So when you see another is in Morocco, another is in Morocco, they know to say these are tough tested guys. The rocks. So these guys who have come in, they've got all these years to make the grade, which we need. And I decided to say if I can give a space for these guys, that would be better. Because there's nothing else I'm looking for. There's nothing else I'm looking for. All the tournaments for FIFA I have done. All the tournaments for CAF I have done. Let's not talk about Zambia. I have done. So, Zambians, what do you expect from Jan? If I decided to do that, I would have done. And this coming Afcon, I would have gone. And that's a fact. I would have gone. But I said, ah, it's okay. Let's have a space for somebody to come in. And let's see how we can groom this. These young ones, let them come. Because they've got that zeal until they break my record. That's what I can say to the nation. So, retirement, it means that somebody has gotten to the age to say, okay, fine, I think I've grown, now I have to retire and leave space for others. But Zambians are now mixing the two ways, retirement and resigning. If my VP here resigns, he must have some issues some reasons. We're going to ask the VP, my VP, why have you re resigned? No, there is pressure. No wonder he has resigned. Now me, I have retired. <laughs> A lot of people have retired. <laughs> so that's, that's all. So all those comments that I've been seeing on social media, they are now mixing these two ways. They are, they are taking it to say Jan has res, uh, resigned. No wonder they are giving all those reasons. No, Jani, I think he has got pressure. I don't know which pressure they are talking about. Me, I've got no pressure. It's all smiles. <laughs> it's all smiles. You get it? Uh -huh. If I told there was something from the World Cup, I come, then I make a decision. As I said earlier on, then you are going to say, hey, there was something which happened somewhere. As he came back, I think he now decided to do what? Retire. But I told you earlier on to say I retired even before I went for the world. Because I wrote people later. And I told you earlier on to say my director at CAF wrote me a letter. Because my referee manager here, my name was there. He's here. Yeah. My name was there. But he called me, Jan, I've seen your name here. And you're telling me this. So what are you telling us? So can we put you together with somebody? Maybe you're going to change your mind. I told him, said, don't put me with somebody. I'm not going to change my mind. After World Cup, I'm going to retire. Oh, if that was what you've decided, there's no problem. R write us a letter. Copy the FC. I said, I'll do that. And I did that even before I went for the World Cup. I've explained a little bit. Maybe we can have other questions that can come, then I can um, answer them.
Thank you very much uh, for those not very brief remarks, but I think uh, <laughs> yes. we needed to uh, get into the details of some of these things here. Uh, as we open the floor, obviously I've spoken about a lot of things. I will really request my colleagues from the press to really stick to what is important. I'm sure he has opened the whole, uh, he has opened himself up, but I think let's interact, but let's bear in mind that uh, we should stick to the business of the day. Yeah. My late father told me to say, if you put money in front, you're not going to succeed. So for me, I eliminated the issue of money in my head. No wonder I think I've gone for two World Cups. So offsetting one game at the World Cup, it doesn't matter. Because I don't enter into referring politics. Because at whatever level you can talk about, their politics. For somebody to get there, their politics. I'll tell you, our, our director at FIFA is coming from Italy. When I, I tell you, he said, do you know how many referees were there from Italy? Do you know how many uh, uh, video assistant referees were there? Then you start going through. Why John coming alone from Zambia. Okay, those are the questions that we can fail to answer. So we cannot try to go into politics and start saying, why am I having one game? What is important is selection. If you are selected, you are there. That's the most important thing. We tell ourselves to say, I'm here. That's what is important. If I go back, nobody can remove that history. They will say, Johnny went for Qatar 2022 World Cup. So whatever he did there, whatever, maybe one game, whatever, that history shall remain. Because what I've learned is a lot. In refereeing, I have seen, okay, I haven't been like too much, you know, trying to see uh, who is doing this and the like. But when I'm free one weekend, I'm able to watch one game. I look at the... They, t they, uh, they, 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 they take a uh, physical part of it to say it's like the, the main thing. They're missing something. To be physical fit in, in refereeing, yes, it's cardinal, but it's not the most important thing, intelligence. They will tell someone to say, you are good, but you are lacking intelligence. So for me, with the experience that I have, that's the part I can come in and uh, just sharpen the guys who are coming up. Because we've got potential here in Zambia. When I looked at the, the four guys who are on the, the list as FIFA referees, I'm not going to talk about the assistant. We've got potential. So the only part that we now need to help them is about how to use your that's all. So me and my doors are open. If uh, at all people need me to come in and uh, share experience, even at night you can call me. I'll be there. <laughs> the second question. Uh, highest and uh, oh, of course the highest. Yeah, of course, it's reaching the the, the world cup. <laughs> That's the highest. Yeah. Yeah? Other people. I'll tell you one thing. Uh, there's a guy, we were in uh, uh, Cameroon uh, at the hotel. That guy was working there as a chef. So the company, uh, VP, company had to like give to my compliments. You know, I as a company, we were going to sponsor you and you to go to the World Cup. We met there. He was just happy. <sighs> you, you get my point? Uh huh. So just to get there, that's the highest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the lowest part, mm -hmm. is what happened when I, I nearly died. Mm -hmm. Nearly died. That's the lowest. I've officiated West Games where Bart Toba Mawa West Games where I've officiated West Games where Bart Toba Mawa West Games where I've officiated West Games where I've officiated West Games where I've officiated West Games Okay, as referees. But the worst part is when I nearly died. 
the last AFCON. And why am I saying it's the West? It is because of people, especially Zambians. Instead of saying, Umuntu West, Dumuafwe. He has got this career, let's help him to get back and see how he can fly the flag, the flag of Zambia. They were now passing very nasty comments where they're saying, no, he has disappointed us, whatever, all those comments, which I'm not going to mention because you know them, because you are reading, you are journalists. You understand? But it took somebody's heart. They said, okay, fine, I have to, okay? My first game, I came back, my reference manager said, you know, go to, I think that was Monze. Choma. Oh, Choma, sorry, Choma. managers. Mm. Choma, mm. I went there. Mm. I knew to say, once I get there, mm. this is what is going to happen. Mm. I said, I, I'm going for warm-up. The time I went for warm-up, somebody just messaged, ah, oh, scars where? They're not push up for five minutes. <laughs> 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 you get my point? Mm. No, no, push up a five minutes. Said, this is what I expected. Yeah. <laughs> you, are, you get it? This is what I expected. Because already other people, when you read the social media from that point, they said with his career now, it's yeah. over. It's the end. It's the end. Mm. FIFA cannot tolerate this. It's the end. Mm. No wonder I'm coming down. I, I was asking myself, said, why do people now asking me when I said I've resigned? Now they're, hey, why is he resigning? I said, hey, are you not the people who are saying FIFA, Guasila? I said, okay. So that is my worst part. Because I, I was like, hey, these people. Dr. Kabungo was my good friend. Where is he now? We have we been forgotten about him? <laughs> Gone, so. Mm hmm. And now who would have said, Jan is gone? Nothing. That's what it is. But I can just urge Zambians to say, please, yesterday you were unveiling the, the new coach. Sooner or later, we are saying, sooner or later, I'm telling the truth. I'm not going to add this to Zambo Kamba, but our new coach, which is a very bad thing. We need to support people who are supposed to be there. They need support. We're going to have these young ones. They may not going to be strong like me. Maybe it will be just one blow and they'll be down. And what happened from there? You saw Jan on the list going to the World Cup. What happened? Then you say, hey, is it FIFA? You started scratching your head. And he was there. So. Whatever happens, I remember the time I went to Kukata. I was caught by these big people, by the VP, where they mentioned to say, it's just that the time things happened, they, done, they didn't come out quickly to say it was the heat stroke. Mm. If they did that, they would have. After officiating that game, you saw Belgium and uh, Canada, the goalkeeper for Belgium came to me. I said, I'm happy I've seen you again. After what happened, I looked at him and said, My brother, I'm here. After the game, now this is the final whistle. Zambians, a lot of Zambians were wait, uh, waiting to say, hey. <laughs> <laughs> <My VP. laughs> They were waiting. And the time I was warming up, I said, I know people at home, mm. other people are waiting. Mm. That this time around it will be 15 minutes. <laughs> yes. yeah. But I know to say the God I serve, mm. who is there, mm. each day that comes it's a different day. They don't gonna chill your but don't carry in coco. That's what I know. Yeah. These people you see here, he's our VP here. My president is not here, but he is here to represent my president mm. as well. Mm. Referee's manager is here. We've, he's now representing the instructors that we have here in Zambia. If they're going to have a listening ear, we can have somebody to go there as soon as possible. But already, sorry my brother, already, just some few months ago, I'll mention this, 
because I'm now not active. Somebody who is active today was trying to challenge Gladys Lengwe, who has done a lot for this country. Trying to tell her to say, who are you? To advise me. Me, I am a saint. I said, what? Gladys Lengwe was my match commissioner. I was at Inkana. I think, I don't know which game. But I remember, she told me, Jan, listen to this. So when I look at that, if we can have such referees who cannot listen to such instructors, because when I look at the gradis, mm, who can talk? So if you are not going to have people can listen, my brother, mm -mm, it will be difficult. It will be difficult. So if we're going to have somebody, we're going to have patience, listen, and work. In three years' time or so, we'll see somebody trying to break my record. Two World Cups. We'll see. Do you have the, uh, uh, another referee that will easily catch up with the rules of the game? Okay. Um, thank you so much, my brother. Um, the first one. Uh, the Belgian goalkeeper I've mentioned about him is just because he mentioned my worst year, where he tried to appreciate what my brothers didn't do. Mm. So it like touched me to say, hey, this guy is happy to see me here. That, that was just the only thing that touched me. Not because, because I've officiated the, the game for him, I think, twice now. Was that Kotwa? Yeah, Kotwa. Mm. Kotwa was with the Real Madrid. I officiated the final. Yeah. He was there. He was the goalkeeper. 2018, he was the, the goalkeeper for Belgium again. And 20, for him to mention it now, it was something that he had just touched me to say, what a distance for somebody just to appreciate that the guy is still standing and he's able to whatever pressure. The pressure doesn't even come within our country, even outside. You get it. So for me to stand like that, is, I said, yeah, I really appreciate. OK. Second question, um, where you say, do we see another Jan? My brother, to tell the truth, each and every individual is different. You will never see another Jan. It's me. It's me. If we're going to have another referee who should come, should make his own or her own history. They are there. Let's talk about uh, this, this, this lady, Diana Chikotesh. Are you telling me that she's another Jan? She's uh, Diana, simple, but Diana. <laughs> and she's making her own history. And she, if she thought she will, she will be able, which I, I, I'm pretty sure, she's going to the World Cup. Sooner or later, in January or so, because they are trying, when you see ladies in the men's competition, maybe you didn't know. It's just that they want them to gain the confidence to get to that level. Are they able to do this? Diana, she's going for, is it Chan? Yeah, she's going, yeah, she's going to, for, for Chan. Yeah. For men. Yeah. Do we have men going for Chan? I love that smile. Yeah. That gives me another picture. And, and, and how far or too close are we, we in, in terms of... Uh, the that we have catching up with the new rules and it, it, the it's, technology that has it's very soon. With his coming in this office, our referees manager here, he has already got the plan, which we may see we, within two years or so, we will see somebody getting there, looking into the plan that he has. It's not my plan. It is in his office. But when I look at whatever he's planning, we can see somebody. And the young ones we, whom we have on the panel right now, mm -hmm. they've got that anger to get there. They're not just there to say, no, we are putting on the white badge. No. They've got that anger. If that person can do it, we can also do it. So sooner or later, my brother, we can have somebody.
have mm. any theory that has grabbed you at you, given what, half of what you have? Don't you think you're uh, leaving too much pressure to the upcoming referees to fill your books? Thank you so much. May I address you as Dan? <laughs> 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 Madam, um, there's a saying which goes like, uh, the best dancer knows when to leave the stage. Not looking on to who is the next artist who is going to come. No. So, I've gone that way because I know to say, if I can leave space for somebody who has got enough time, we can have another jump to, uh, to, to do maybe two or three World Cups. My friend from Gambia, Papa, this is Qatar, 2022, was his third year. Why? Because he started at that tender age. He managed. Now when we have somebody who is 39, for Cup to recognize him, maybe Kosafa, whatever, whatever, he'll be 44 and he'll be retiring. Then we're not doing anything. So, we're looking at whoever is here now. Yes, we can. We can achieve that. So for me to retire this time around, that's the best way that we, I can help the young ones. Rather than I stay there, then Nishinaba Chinga. Uh -huh. Because whatever will come, even AFCON, I told you earlier on, they will say, okay, we are having AFCON. Next, oh, Jan is still on the panel. Bring Jan here. I would have gone. I would, be, I would have been in Ivory Coast. You see? Now Jan is not on the list. They will say, okay, we are not going to consider Jan. Now who? So I have to leave space. Take the last uh, two questions, uh, Chancellor, and then I'll come to Brian. Good morning, Mr. Hi, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have two questions initially. So I want to find out from the time that you started officiating, have you ever had instances where you thought in a particular match you could have done better? If there's any you would like you to share decisions that you made that you thought you could have made a better decision afterwards. And then secondly, to those that are coming, referees often will go under a lot of scrutiny and pressure. Uh, what advice would you give them as they step up? Thank you so much, madam. Uh, the first one, for sure, um, I've encountered this uh, in this question where I would say, Ish, I would have done much, much better. Okay? I'll give you an example. I think uh, it was no, same final, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was in uh, Tunisia, where I was suspended. I was suspended for making that decision. Okay? My position in that particular game, because after I, I, watch, I watched the game, I said, ah, I think if I, do, I had to take maybe two steps on the left, I would have gotten this decision correct. Okay? So I regretted there. I said, okay. Ah, I think I would have done better. So even when the suspension came, I accepted it and said, okay, let it be. Because for me, when I look at it, I would have done better. That's just an example that I can give you because I received a suspension later on that uh, particular game. There are other games that I, I would also mention, mm -hmm. but because of time, a lot of them, they are there where I would say, okay, this... The only thing that was helping me was um, I loved watching my, uh, myself. Whenever there was a game, mm -hmm. I, I would get uh, the copy of the game, watch. When I see myself running, I feel proud. I said, yeah, this is what I need. You, you get my point. Then I'll go, oh, why was I walking there? Okay, if they send me to Zesco next week, nah, I'm not going to walk. Then you people will watch me. Ah, this guy, I think he's too energetic. He shouldn't die. Uh -uh. I was just thinking of those lines. Okay. Uh, second question. It's about uh, the upcoming. Eh? There are a lot of pressure 
coming from different areas. Whether in Zambia, when you go out, a lot of them. You get it. For instance, you have been given a game to offset uh, sundowns by VP. Sundowns, you know, to say it's the, the presidency uh, team. You get it. And you go there. Jan goes there as a, as a ref. So this is the thing I was mentioning earlier on to say, you must be intelligent. Political-wise, put it aside. Don't say, no, me, what is the law of the game? This is the play. boom. <laughs> You're not going to achieve. So this is the time other people, I, I used to get comments where I said, ah, no, guys, I'm going to share Bankana, Aladi Chef. When he goes out, Aladi Chef, uh-uh. It's about this. Okay? Today, my manager says, you are going for this game. Okay? So, uh, so called uh, uh, Debbie, Mulaitina Sana. Hmm. Even you, Mulaitina, we have that report. You stand outside, Mulaitina, Mabwe. When you go there, you say, okay, what is the strategy? What am I going to do? So, this is what we want the young ones to also to be now planning about the games. Once they do that, they are going to achieve. When I go to uh, Kansanshi, Ah, Kansanshi. Okay. I'll just go straight normal. But when I go, okay, Kana Power, I know to say, okay, the pressure already starts on the paper. Mm. Already. Mm. There's the so paper yayamba. Ah, there will be this. Ah, what? Can you code language? I know that. Then I look at the paper, I tell my friend I'm going. Ah. Besuma, look at this. What yes. So you plan like that. So even the young ones, I always advise them to say, look at the game, plan, what are you going to do? When my dad was alive, I was telling him to say, the, he tells me to say, which game are you going to do? I'm saying, oh, naku, power. Oh, power, you know how it will be? I said, I know. Then I tell him to say, I know it, it will be paradio. I tell dad to say, my strategy is this, and you are going to see it. First tackle, it will be yellow card. Bambo kuseka. <laughs> and for sure, I go. First tackle, bah, yellow card. Bah. And the player will be like, ah, first foul. I said, move. I shook said, umumudi ref. That's what we want. It's not about the white badge. This is my advice that I can give to the young ones. Whoever has now come on the panel, I said, it's not about the white badge. It's about the authority, how you're going to do it strategically. You get it. So this is how our plan is. Thank you, madam. Very last question. Yes, my name is Uri Onisi Janskas, imparting knowledge in the ones through FIFA or should we expect some sort of Janskas uh, school? <laughs> well, uh, let me start with the second question. Uh, we are not going to see Janice Kazu School of whatever referring. No. There's nothing like that. Okay? The only thing that you may see, if it will be there, is uh, Janice Kazu coming in and help the late ones. Impart knowledge and the experience, whatever experience that we've got, whatever field we, we've gone to, that is going to happen. Uh, so if I a school, we are not, a lot of people have been asking me to say, are you able to like open the referee academy? I was like, I think with the referee, we don't have such. We have a department at FAS. And in each district, we have uh, referees. So we are going to have somebody from Chama. We're going to have Chama district, and we've got the, the executive there. Those people who are interconnected with the, our office here, under our referees manager, Mr. Banda, here, then we are going to see how we're going to help those people. Me, I'm coming from Salanga, oh, uh, Kapir. We call it Salanga. Hey, um, we have people, and I'm so proud that we even have a lot of uh, uh, women, ladies coming in. So we are helping. So me, I'm there. I'm based there. So that is what we're going to do. Not Jan opening the, the academy. That cannot happen. 
we always work under fuzz with our department of refereeing. Uh -huh. The first question was... Um, how would you rate? The rating, yes. With the rating, um, I know our friends there, they've got equipment, a lot of them, okay? Currently in Africa, we only have, uh, okay, three now. We've got Morocco, we've got Egypt, and we've got um, Tunisia coming in now, using over the, the VR equipment, okay? Cameroon, they were thinking on those lives. They may achieve maybe next year, I don't know. So it's very difficult in Africa to like, okay, get to that way. Somebody was asking me a question, Jan, were you comfortable to officiate what game at the, at the World Cup? They consider a lot of uh, uh, things. Look at Jan. They'll say, Jan, where is he coming from? He's coming from Zambia. Is he coming from Sakati? No, Kapiri. Which Kapiri? <laughs> they, so they will start looking for Kapiri, GPS, Yakana, no Kwika, Tabakami. You get it, eh? So, who has got more advantage? I've got my VP here, who offset games week in, week out with Viera, and I've got Jan from Kapimpoji, who doesn't do that. They go to the World Cup. Who be given the chance to do more games? I think that question can be answered nicely. No, so yes. Even me, I cannot say, ah, Akari, I'm here. At the... No, no, no. I said, okay, let it be. These people have got that advantage. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know the future, but we hope we can get to that. Okay. I, I heard my president was also mentioning about it, which I'm sure the FA, our fuzz here, they are also thinking uh, towards that. But the part of training with players, that we can do it. And my, my referees manager is already doing that. Yeah. So the next uh, half, I would say, second half of the season, which is coming, I think, seven? Nine? Nine? Somewhere there, okay? Our referees, you see them training with players, and well, there we can do it because we've got players here, and we've got instructors, they will do that, and we will do that, uh, all the trainings. Mm -hmm. But with the VR, it will be quite uh, a, a very mm -hmm. challenging uh, thing where we will struggle here and there. But we'll see how we, we can work with the uh, GSTV. We'll see. We'll see how we can work. If we can, if it is possible, then it will help our referees also to have that knowledge. Because once we, 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 we say we are working with this and we get the videos, it will help the referees to say, oh, this is what Zambia is doing. I, 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 I saw one clip, sorry. I saw one clip, um, I think uh, Mauritians, yeah, Mauritian referees. After they do the trainings, they make a video it went viral, and they said, oh, this is what the people are doing. So it means that they are a step further than us, because we, us, we haven't produced anything. So sooner or later, because I know managers, we, we shared something, he said, Jan, we have already put this, and with what he told me, I know to say, hey, Zambia is getting somewhere. So my brother, with the, your questions, on the Viera party to be, I think, slowly, you know, to get to the point, but with the, these other things, we are there. With a duly respect, VIP, yes, and the uh, referee's manager, and our, our referee, I was wondering, I was wondering what was going on, because from the last assignment that we had in the CAF, when some people were talking, what they were capable of talking in the behavior of what had happened during the match of officiating, we said, okay, fine, that is my son. We sent him on that national duty to go and participate in that uh, calf games. We shall be there at the airport. So we raised with my manager here to say, let us go and receive him. And when we were at the airport, he gave us what he told us. 
and we were there to encourage him to say, this is not the end of everything. So when this news came to say, no, he has resigned, then I said, ah, what could have happened? So I kept on raising with my manager to say, ah, ah, is he already in in the country or is still out? When he's in, please, let me have time to, to, to hear more from him. Now that I'm here, I've heard what he has said. To the members of the media, the man has not uh, resigned. He has retired early so that he paves way uh, to the young ones who are coming there. And I'm sure Faz under the Faris manager, they will find a way just like the way we'll find the way in Moses Sichon to be the caretaker of our national soccer team. And they will still find a way where they will fit him in. And he has got more work to do. And in that, my young man, I say, please continue being obedient with your calling. And that calling is what has made us to be where the world has known Zambia. Through VIP, we really appreciate for you to have produced Jan Skazwe at far at that level where the World Cup is concerned. It's a plus to us. It's a record on Zambia. So we need to see more on Jan Skazwe's offspring. It's not the end no, of his imparting knowledge. And I'm very grateful that you are there wanting to impart more knowledge to save Mother Zambia. No one will build Zambia when you are not being in front of it. I urge you to continue in that. Uh, uh, my two minutes, it's within, me, within the framework. Thank you very much.